fight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about if your sun sign is Capricorn, how the planetary alignments is going to relate to your actions today. Mm -hmm. So, for the most part, now, your actions and the way you act. Is that in conjunction? Anytime there's an in conjunction, this means a misunderstanding. So it's not much you're gonna have to no no not much leaps and hurls. You may have to leap over as far as your actions, but the way you act. But here's a few stumbles in a roadblock or folks in a road. Now, for the most part, when you're too busy initiating and creating new ways out of think and be practical, a lot of times you can be too practical, and too practical it could be too much into reality, and too reality could appear to be too serious, and being too serious you could kind of take the fun away from everybody. So off the back you gotta lighten your load a little bit. You got a misunderstanding about that. Your way of even conversating with people right now is misunderstood, because people' actions and the way they act is based upon communication and analyzing and thinking right now on a, in a, on a mutable scale type way. We know mutable is is being fluid now. That's the fluid. That's the fluid. You know, Carno is the spark. You know what I'm saying? Fixes the steadiness of it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, once it once once it's, once it gets unfroze, it has to get fluid back again so it can transform. You gotta get a little bit more mutable, baby. Uh, now, when we talk about uh <clears throat> So you gotta get a little bit out of that. You gotta relax a little bit. Relax. The same way like the, the Virgo, same way like the the, the the Virgo reader for today. And a little bit like the Taurus, not as much, but you gotta you gotta you, you ain't gotta relax as much as Virgo, but you gotta relax a little bit. You know, don't draw the fun out. If if, if you if you think of things is not worth doing or something like that, then stay your ass at home by yourself. You know what I'm saying? No, don't try to throw that on everybody else. All them worries right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's the summertime. You feel me? So it's a little bit of that right now. See, it was a little different when the sun was in Taurus, but the sun in Gemini right now. So you got to get with the program. Same way the sun is com communicating with the flowers, the trees, and the animals and shit. It's the same way a natural air sign is communicating with the motherfucking fluid right now. So you got to get with it, Capricorn. Got to get a little. Got to get out your run a little bit as far as your actions, the way you act. All that stiffness right now, people are looking at that right now. People are talking about that right now. People are trying to analyze that about you right that right now. And you and you sitting there like this is always me. This is always me. But <clears throat> it's not always you to explain and express it right now. And due to the fact that Mercury and Gemini right now, damn, you feel you feel the need to express explain yourself more than ever right now. So it can lead to a bunch of contradictions and, and fucking up your mind right now. So just relax right now. Relax. Uh, <clears throat> right, just relax right now. This more, this more of a relax. And how you relax is do the forms of communicating and analyzing, and not adding all that practicality to it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you want to have support there to, to for those matters, so you can build on that, and that's where your son gonna come into play. And that's as far as your son, as far as the actions and the way other people are gonna see your actions as far as today. But as far as the moon. Now, the moon is kind of similar, but it's going to relate a little bit because y'all both share Saturn. So y'all both share a little bit of relate, uh, relativity because, you know, uh, the moon today is in Aquarius. So with the moon being in Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? What, do, uh, the, the way people going to emotionally respond or react to your actions and the way you act, it's minor, you know what I'm saying? It might be minor, like semi-sextile, semi-square type shit. And that's just minor shit throughout the day. Like like, like little shit like this. Like, <clears throat> for an example, what I was just explaining. You may be uh, <clears throat> trying to analyze something too much when a person is just trying to have a conversation about something. A person might just be trying to give you ideas and you're trying to practicalize that one idea to the point that the, the person you're talking to wasn't even that serious about that conversation in general. It was just an idea that they was throwing up. Let's move on. You know what I'm saying? Like little shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it doesn't do that. It doesn't do that bad. But you know, the way you're not, it's not, you're not catching any direct energies like the trine or the sextile or the square or the opposition. So right now you're able to sit back and eat popcorn and witness other people uh, react to other people. And you can, you can gossip with other people like, yeah, this stupid motherfucker. Or you can choose not to. Like it's, it's all on you right now. Now, based based upon that, you see me, you feel me. Now, when we talk about, uh, but the moon being Aquarius in, in, in general, you still gotta learn how to uh, loosen up a little bit. Can't be so uptight. You know what I'm saying? You can be uptight mentally still, because Aquarius are y'all uptight mentally. But uh, as far as action wise, y'all not uptight on, on action wise. Period. Y'all would get ghosts on a motherfucker in a second. They ain't no way nobody can say a motherfucker Aquarius. Uh, <clears throat> I mean a motherfucking Aquarius is fucking um um. A motherfucker who's not flighty, you know what I'm saying? But by your son being in Capricorn, see what I'm saying? You, just, you, you, that's, you gotta have to learn how to add some of that to yourself. You see what I'm saying? Now, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> today your son, the, the, the Mercury is still in Gemini. So, you know, off the bat, it's like the way people 
think and communicate and analyze about things is still kind of a misunderstanding to you too. So you just have to do a little bit more analyzing than others. A little bit more, you know what I'm saying, a little bit more thinking about what other people are talking about than others. That's all. That's all. It's nothing, nothing, that's nothing more. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it's, it's still leading up to ways of you having to loosen up yourself still. Now, when we go to, uh, when we go to motherfucking Venus, now Venus is in Taurus. Now, here, now here's when you got a gift. Because anytime there's a motherfucking try, that's a gift. Now, Venus is in Taurus. Now, Venus loves being in Taurus. Venus is love, appreciation, value, relate. That's what Gaia Taurus going on right now. So as far as your actions, the way you act and how you see things and how you view things, you have the motherfucking uh, gift of being loving, appreciating, valued, uh, uh, <clears throat> being relied on. Try to not, try to not, don't put yourself out there too much to the point that you're being made as a crutch. You know what I'm saying? But... You got that loving nature and spirit pure through your actions right now, the way you see things. Or you got that gift. Sometimes you can just wake up and choose, like today, it's just for the day. It's going to be tomorrow too, but we about to do this shit daily. But when we talk about today right now, uh, the way you love and appreciate and the way you value, people on board with that shit right now. People people need you for shit. You know what I'm saying? People want you around. People appreciate how your actions and how you see things and the way you value things right now. So you got that going for you right now. That's the gift. You got that going for you right now. So you know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind, Capricorn. So... The only class you can have is when you're too busy trying to initiate and create, trying to be cardinal, and you know, sometimes you got to be fixated on one thing, you know what I'm saying? You can't be trying to uh, get into too many love situations or too many relationships or too many indulges, in, indulgings, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're doing things in moderation because as a trine, as the sun trine Venus, it can also lead into bad habits, lead into indulging because Venus uh, also represents pleasures. So once you once you have the gift of having access to your pleasures, that can lead, like I say, all, all planetary align, alignments could be good or bad. So it's up to the spiritual nature of the person if it's going to be good or bad. But see, a person who... A person who got bad habits already and sun sign in Capricorn, shit, Venus is trying to your motherfucking sign right now. So you're going to have the gift and access to your plant, your pleasures. So if you got access to your pleasures, that can lead to overindulging and overindulging can lead to bad habits. So you got to make sure you, you're, not, you're not diving into bad habits and not overvaluing or overappreciating a person, place, or thing. So make sure you're not using things as a crutch and things is not using you as a crutch right now. But you got that motherfucking gift of that fairness, balance, that compromise, the energy, pure into your actions. You, you see what I'm saying? Now, now, when we talk about uh, Mars, Mars is in motherfucking Cancer. Now, this is a, this is another big deal for you. You know what I'm saying? Because we all know, we all know, Mars don't like to be in Cancer, and Mars is exalted in Capricorn. So we all know they're away from each other. So anytime there's an opposition, that's an op. That's an op. We know the squares and the oppositions is, is external energies coming at you. You know what I'm saying? That you're going to receive from the ops. You know what I'm saying? Your sextile and your trines is the energies you give off. But it's still going to be good or bad and conjunction going between with all of them. So you see what I'm saying? You got, you got, now you got, this is what you got to understand right now with Mars being in Cancer. Now, <coughs> your actions, your actions and the way you act, Capricorn, is going to be totally at odds what, what other people intend to do. Other people's desires, other people's passions, other people's motivations. And for the most part, even without these planetaries being in alignment, you as a Capricorn are naturally like this with others anyway. A lot of times, what other people are motivated to do and, the, and their desires to do, a lot of times, Capricorns is here to help build a person from point A to point B and help it make sense. That a person just don't know what they're going out on the limb and just falling off the bridge and didn't even know it wasn't, it wasn't a place to land on. You see what I'm saying? So that's what Capricorns already naturally do. But when you have Mars, the intention, passion, willpower, planet itself being opposite to you, that's not going to go very well for you right now. Everybody is going to look at you as a party pooper. Everybody is going to look at you like you're trying to stop them from doing what they're trying to do. Everybody's going to look at you like you're trying to think too hard about something. Let's just do it. And you're going to be looked at the person that's not trying to do something because you're thinking too hard. You're being too practical. You're trying to be too much reality. And right, it's going to get a little frustrating. You know what I'm saying? And it may even bring little enemies at this time too right now because Mars carry out the duties and obligations of the sun. And you know, right now it can't do that because Mars wants to do something totally opposite than the sun. So right now they can't 
<clears throat> right now they're not on good terms. So that's how it's going to play out a lot of times. So how to make this a give and receive match is you, you got to learn how to set aside your own way of seeing things, your own actions for the sake of what someone else desire to do or what someone else passionately want to do right now. You see what I'm saying? And if you're around a certain group around of people that's good friends, then they should be able to set, set aside their intentions and what they desire to do a lot of times based upon how you see things and your actions. So y'all can balance that out. Balance that out. Otherwise, this naturally, just you walking out in the, in the world, period, uh, is going to be, is this automatically opposite energies geared towards you based upon where the planetary alignments are anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? There's certain things you can't go against. You may find yourself in unnecessary arguments right now. You may find yourself in unnecessary situations. Uh, shit, you may even do something before thinking to the point that you get a flat tire or something like that. So, try not to... Uh, be on the road as much. Try to try to be passenger now. Since you, you was driving all last month. You know what I'm saying? Let it be some motherfucking body else motherfucking turn. You feel me? You call somebody up and say, come get me this motherfucking time. You see what I'm saying, Capricorn? Call call that motherfucker. You come get me this time. Like, can I tell him the passenger job? Can, 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 can drinks be on you motherfucking today? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't be ashamed to do that. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta feel vulnerable. You ain't gotta feel uncomfortable. Like, uh, uh, but I'll pay this person back tomorrow. No, fuck that. You didn't did that five or six times already. It's, it's day turn. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> now, so as far as anything else, as uh, as a Capricorn, you know, things are gonna be at odds anyway. So it's just how, what level of spirituality you at. And, and that's going to determine how you develop these energies. But you're going to receive these energies. Mars is opposite your sun. So, now, what other, what other shit you got going on with you today? Now, um, today's Jupiter is in Libra. So, now you got today's Jupiter squaring your sun. So, you know, anytime there's a square, that's a learning process. So, you know what I'm saying? All squares got to learn. You know what I'm saying? This is why squares are the smartest. You know what I'm saying? Um, and squares that's in wrong situations get beat out the circle. And then they learn that that wasn't the circumstance, a.k.a. circle to be in. We on some right and left brain shit right now. You feel me? Goddamn, flight boss. But yeah, we talking about uh, motherfucking um, Jupiter being a motherfucking Libra. So it's square you right now. So look, your actions and the way you act and how you... Look, Jupiter is the planet of experience. It's the planet of how you experience uh, life. All things experience. Going to take a motherfucking walk is an experience. Watching this video is an experience. Everything is a goddamn experience. That's what Jupiter brings. It could be bad or good experiences, depending on the uh, level of consciousness you at. Now, for the most part, even if it's bad experiences, Jupiter uh, always brings wisdom and knowledge. And wisdom and knowledge exp expands your mind. This is why Jupiter is expansive. And ultimately, expansion is good. So there you go. This is why Jupiter is a beneficial planet. Regardless of what kind of experiences it brings into your motherfucking life. But sometimes you goddamn need to learn. So, for the most part, with Jupiter being a Libra and a square... Um, and it's square, sorry about that, god damn. And it's square, motherfucking, um... Hold on, let me go get a mic again. I don't want to get on camera looking like a poop pot or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? looking like a motherfucking poop pot, you know what I'm saying? Capricorns care about shit like this. They're like, nigga, you don't make sense with a snotty nose talking to, talking about astrology, nigga. Wipe your nose. We'll wait. We got patience. Uh, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Now, but for the most part... You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to learn how to apply some idea or some fairness or some way of balance of thinking and communicating and analyzing with others when it comes to your actions and the way you act and how you see things. Because a lot of times you can see things in only your way and if it ain't that way, you're going to feel uncomfortable trying to do it in somebody's way because if, if it don't work, you're going to always feel like, dang, I already had a way to do it, but I had to... Uh, compromise and compromise is not good for Capricorns either. So you know what I'm saying that's not, I, I feel you. I, I know about this. I know about. I'm an Aries. Look, I know compromising. Goddamn, fuck that shit. But when we talk about this for the sake of Jupiter, Jupiter is in a compromising ass sign right now. It's in motherfucking Libra. So you're gonna have to learn how to compromise some motherfucking ideas to your initiating ass ways as a Capricorn. You're gonna have to learn how to uh, the experiences that you go through. You're gonna have to learn how to experience it with others. Everything can't be too selfish because it's in Libra right now. So go. You have to go through experiences within. Jupiter with others, learn how to relate your experiences to others in a proper and efficient way so you can gain wisdom and knowledge off others and relate this knowledge so people can get uplifted together. That's what Jupiter and Libra is ultimately trying to do, but goddamn, by your son being a Capitorian, it's, it's square that shit. Hey, hey, look, I'm an I'm a Aries. It's, it's, it's opposing me, so I got it even worse. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I don't even feel comfortable. I feel vulnerable even relating any fucking thing right now uh, as a sun sign Aries. So, you know what I'm saying? But uh, as far as you, as a Capricorn, you you don't feel as much as about that as as it than I do. But by it squaring you as a Capricorn, it's a, it's a learning process. So, you more have to, like, you might follow your find yourself in situations where you may have wished you learned that because you will be able to relate something or a subject better if you didn't learn it. So now you're like, oh, okay, let me learn that real quick. Uh, other than me, I'm opposing it. Like, I don't want to learn that shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference between the opposition and square. So, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, um, other uh, Capricorn, that's all you have to learn. You know what I'm saying? You just have to learn how to communicate and analyze your experiences and relate it to others more and be more fair and balanced and, you know what I'm saying, relax more and, and be more informative and be more uh, relaxed amongst others and not and not so uptight. You see what I'm saying? Not so uptight. So you can not miss experiences that you actually need to experience because you may practically, reality, talk yourself right out of a circumstance of an experience that you needed to experience, but just because you didn't want to experience with a certain person, place, or thing, that's why you didn't experience it. And right now, Jupiter is the planet of experiences, and it's in the it's in the sign Libra. So that's the planet of relations. So right now, it's important to experience things with others right now, as a Capricorn. You have to learn how to do that right now, as far as your actions. Now... Let's get to motherfucking, last but not least, Saturn. Now, Saturn is in Sagittarius. So, right now, uh, with Saturn being in Sagittarius, what happens here is you, you're not getting no direct energies. You're not getting no direct effects. So, you can kind of sit back and eat popcorn while all the sex tiles and trines to this is stumbling and falling. But right now, you like, you like, um, it's like you don't quite gain stability. Like Saturn brings stability in one's life and where one's going to place and receive boundaries and restrictions and limits. So you don't quite do it in a way that everybody else is doing it right now, though. But your way is not even necessarily wrong. Your way might be working for you right now. So it's like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's like one of those type of things. So as a Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? You're not in that. You're not in, in this situation like other signs are. So, for the most part, you can sit back and just like, you know, eat popcorn, but at the most part, you're going to go through some minor stubbles, though, like some minor semi-sextiles or semi-squares, like semi-shit. Like, when it's, a lot of times, you can be too practical right now, because Saturn is in Sagittarius. So, the way people are getting a structure in their life is by their visions, the way they see things, how they feel about things, because it's fire. But right now, you're trying to, uh, uh, sometimes you can't see how a person feel. You can't see a person's inspiration. You can't see a person's spirituality. You can't see a, a person's fire. That's not in reality. So off the back, you throw it off. That that's a minor thing you might be throwing off. You like, damn, this nigga got all this inspiration shit. How you get that shit? I don't see the money, or I don't see him with no job. I don't see him having no job, or I don't see him doing that shit because shit, motherfucking Saturn is in Sagittarius right now. Niggas is using their wisdom and knowledge and education level and and all kind of shit to to gain stability in their lives right now. So hell nah, a job's really not needed. But you know, as a motherfucking basic Capricorn, you thinking like, how the fuck this person get when they get when they not even taking the point A point be procedures and shit like that. So that's a little shit like that you can get thrown off because earth signs in general have the natural uh, authenticity way of how to gain structure in their life. Um, and in this realm of reality right now. But due to the fact that Saturn is in Sagittarius, it's, it's, throwing, it's throwing a little mixture in the pot right now. So people are able to tap into fire type ways to uh, gain stability in their lives. And that just might throw you off a little bit, but for the most part, it's not, it's not a direct energy like if it was to be... Um, like if it was to be probably like a sex tower trying to something to another sign. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the sign that's right before you. See what I'm saying? It's not a direct energy like if it was Virgo. Direct square. You know, or nothing like that. So, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you, you're pretty much cool. You just got to maintain and balance. So, if you're in a situation that's fucked up, you know why you're in that situation. And you know why you're in that circumstance. Uh that you are because you know that you made a mistake. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody fault but yours. So, fuck boss bitch, goddamn, that's Capricorn. Air.